हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमिका आई डॉक्टर गोपाल बी सारस्वत वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय न्यू वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड वी ट्राई टू लर्न हाउ वी गोइंग टू प्लॉट डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्राफ ऑन ई व्यूज यूजिंग आवर डेटा एंड देन वी ऑल्सो लर्न how to customize these graphs according to the requirement of the researcher so let's start the video first of all here in this e views we have to we have data starting from 1996 quarter 2 till quarter 3 2021 this is the data available with us and total number of observations are available is 102 what data we are having we are having the consumption total consumption of india quarterly consumption from year 1996 to 2021 the gdp of india in rupees and the government expenditure these are the three series in form of data is available this is the time series data from year 1996 to 2021 so first thing first first of all we have to open all these three three series time series at once so what i will do first i will click upon the gdp consumption government expenditure what how i did it i press the control command and then i select all these three then i right click from my mouse and then i go to open and open as group once i do this an uh, output will pop up where you can see the series name is gdp consumption and government expenditure uh, starting from 1996 quarter 2 till 2021 quarter 3 this is our data now we want to plot graphs just to find different sort of relationship and that what kind of trend or the data we are dealing with we want to analyze that to plot a graph first of all we have a different as we can see there are different tabs are available on this window so i will go to view i go to graph when i click this here you can see there are different sort of graphs are available in the e views so i will select line and symbol graph basic graph is my option and here in the right hand side you can see the graph data is from raw data i am preparing this graph multiple series will be presented within a single graph you can see that how we are plotting this graph so i click here okay once i click okay you can see that here we have if i zoom in then you can see that this blue line is the gdp of india here this saffron line is belongs to the total consumption of india and this one the green line belongs to the total government expense here there are certain hiccups in my data as you can see that a sudden fall witnessed by the indian gdp indian consumption and the reason is obvious because of the pandemic because in the x axis you can see that this happened during 2020 to 2021 only so this period was belongs to the pandemic and because of this this was a hiccup so this is the first hand information we got from our data now i want to make a change to my graph so how i will do that i will go to the option here is the option command i click here option and now rather having a single graph i want to have a individual graph of each gdp consumption and the government expenditure so i click on multiple graphs here this one i click on apply and okay here you can see if i drag it here 
these are the three different graphs gdp consumption and government expenditure so this is another form of preparing and plotting graph on using eviews further again i want to make a change to graph i go to option and then i go to scatter plot let's say i want to prepare a scatter plot so in the scatter plot if i clicked on scatter plot and what kind of fit lines i want i want a regression line let's say i click on here in fit lines i click on regression line and multiple graph first versus all this is the graph i click on apply and okay here you can see there are two graphs are available one is consumption against gdp and another one is government expenditure against gdp these are the two different graphs and the lines are highly fitting with the the gdp numbers and it is obvious so because it directly in the gdp equation if i want to have a single graph only then i again go to option rather having this multiple graph i will write clicking on single graph first versus all apply and okay you can see that rather having two graphs now we are having a single graph where within a graph consumption and government expenditure both are available within a same plot this is how we have this so there are different sort of graphs are available you can check this out using the e views which you have already downloaded as i told you how to install it in my previous video now going further suppose i want to have a graph where let's say some of my data is uh, in rupees some of my data is in percentage for example unemployment rate so in that case my graph will not fit well or my graph will not look like something which i want to have i in that case there is a one option called mixed if you click here mixed and when you click here mixed setting here you want different sort of graph within a same graph for example i want to know what happens to the gdp i want to have a line graph for gdp i want to have a line graph for consumption and i want to have a bar chart for my government expenditure i want to know when government expenditure increases or decreases what happens to the total consumption in the economy and what happens to the gdp so now i have a mix of two different graph one is bar another one is line within a same graph so i just selected it i click on apply and okay here you can see the bar line here this lines are bars are showing the government expenditure you can see in the bottom in the levels so here we can see the government expenditure post 2010 or you can say the post subprime lending crisis increased phenomenally in india and gdp is also rising over that period consumption is also rising over the period so this means the growth rate in india increase as the government increases the its expenditure further most of the time as a researcher you want to point out certain events on your graphs events like where something good or bad has happened and which making a impact upon overall data you want to highlight that particular thing so how you are going to highlight or as i mentioned in the beginning of my video how you are going to customize a graph according to your need so let's start with that also first of all as this is a graph first of all i have to freeze this freeze means i have to save this graph here the option called freeze if i click here it will ask me graph is frozen and does not update manual update when requested or type is seen automatic update whenever update condition is met i want automatic update i click on okay so this graph is frozen now you can see that i have now two graphs 
one this is the earlier one which i had and then i click freeze this new graph window pop up i minimize this one and i enlarge this one so i want to highlight this pandemic thing so that my reader of my research will got to know why this particular uh, series is downward having a witnessed a downward shift during 2019 to 2021 so just to do that i will just right click upon the graph i go to draw and i go to draw ellipse once i go here if i draw ellipse here you can see that this is ellipse just to point out that particular thing then again i go to uh, click right click on my mouse draw draw arrow and now i am drawing a arrow just to point out what is happening here then again i right click and i go to add lines and shading this is the another option just to shade that area so shaded area i want to have a shaded area from 2019 q4 to 2021 q3 it will shade that area okay this is very good again i want to name this area also that this is due to pandemic so i right click and i go to option called add text so this is for adding certain kind of text but i am not interested in that again i right click and here we can see there are many option like options this is another one just to change a graph another one is option is called add lines and shading this i already did i click upon this line and then right click and here i have add lines and shading shaded area and this one then i go to draw arrow this is for drawing add text so what i will do is i will just will go add text suppose i write pandemic here and you can see that this is a pandemic i want to have this uh, pandemic at this level so here you can see that the pandemic is written here and this belongs to that particular area and the shaded area is also showing that this is the time where india witnessed a pandemic so this is how you can customize the graph i hope you like my video please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel please comment what do you think about this pandemic and how it is going to affect the indian gdp in the comment below to this video